I'm going to show you how to make this solar system using chalk. So first I'm taking my circle tracer and I'm tracing a bunch of well circles for my planets. Um, you can use these or you can use the cups. I'll have some cups set out. I don't have enough of these circle tracers for every kid to have their own, but you can see I'm making my circles pretty quickly. So again, it's up to you cups or you can use the circle tracer. Next, I'm going to start making my sun first. So when I think of the sun, I think of warm colors. So I'm going to use um, a combination of yellow, red, and orange. And then I'm starting coloring my circle by doing this C formation. And then I'm going to use my finger to spread the chalk around to fill in that circle. You don't have to do a C formation. If you know another way you would like to color or shade with the chalk, you certainly can. And then I'm adding some red and orange and just spreading it around with my fingers. Then I'm going to add a highlight with the white piece of chalk to add some value and make my circle look more three-dimensional. Your fingers will get dirty throughout this project, so you could wash your hands between every circle. But that kind of takes a long time, or you could just have a paper towel on hand with you. And then I'm going to make some rays for my son. So you can either just draw those or take your finger and spread the chalk that you already colored with to make those rays. Next, I'm going to make my next planet. Again, I'm making that C formation. So any side of the circle that's facing towards the sun is going to be lighter. And any side of the circle that's facing away is going to be darker. So I'm adding some white again to give that highlight and add some value so again anything that's um, lightest is facing towards the sun so i'm just going to keep that back part of the circle dark and then if you're noticing that your circles are kind of turning into blobs like irregular shapes you can just go in with your eraser and clean it up a little bit if you want to do two colors on one circle or planet, I'm just going to start one side with one color and then the darker color, again, I'm going to start on the other side, but making sure that's facing away from the sun. And then I like to use white to kind of blend colors together and make it look a little more seamless or gradual. And then again, going back in with my eraser and fixing up those smudges. And then I'm going to fill this whole thing in, but these are my examples for today.